then uh, shift over the keyboard and choose tooth number 15. It will highlight the whole uh, upper arch. Let's go to gingiva and pick up the very last option, copy denture. Click on. After that, we could go to anatomy and choose the very last option, artificial teeth. Yeah. It should be done um, to apply the copy denture workflow uh, to scan uh, existing denture only. And after that, we could click scan to start scanning. Actually, I do have my scan steps uh, here. And what we need to do, we need to place the, uh, this existing denture uh, over the transfer plate. Um, we could use blue tag to uh, hold the, the whole denture on the top of the uh, transfer, uh, on, on the uh, top of the plate and scan uh, the cameo, the uh, uh, top of the uh, denture. After that, uh, after the scanning the top uh, of the denture, we need to go to the trim step and uh, trim put the, the spline all around the uh, border of the full denture. In case you have uh, wash impression material uh, inside of the integral surface uh, of this uh, denture, Mm, it would be great to uh, to uh, to use it to scan it and we will have the option to modify the base and take away any um, any bumps or, or, or extra material extra wash material from the base by the sculpt uh, tool uh, during the design steps something like this for example, and after that, we are ready to go to align uh, both scans, top and bottom. And to do so, we have two options. We have the one point alignment and three point alignment. And uh, let's use the one point alignment and we will see how it will work. Yeah, just put, uh, yeah the uh, dots approximately in the same area and we have a result of the alignment mm, yeah the dental designer is gonna be here and we will have the steps of design our scanned um, copy denture yeah this is the step of the uh, of the occlusal alignment i really like to use uh, set with points and I'd like to put three points to set my occlusal plane and just pull it down a bit, maybe adjust the first rotation. And here we are. It could be done in a couple of, uh, of clicks. Yeah. Let's uh, hit next to go to the scout over the upper jaw. If we have any artifacts like uh, wash impression material could be out of the integral surface and we could take away this wash uh, material uh, away and uh, smooth it to have a nice uh, surface of the base. And we still have one more sculpt uh, step on the very last anatomy design steps. But here we could use the wax knife of our scan. We are ready to go to the next step. Yeah, let me clear everything. And here we need to annotate our T's to uh, help software identify each tooth and segment them from the rest of the scan, from the base. Uh, to do so, we need to click on the top of the tooth number. Uh, here, number two, like this, and continue to the rest of the arch.
we are ready to go to segmentation. Click next and segmentation is automatically done by the software. You could see this green line all over the DTs. And actually, you could see just one. We, we have uh, this option to group Ts, and it was uh, chosen the second option, one bridge. But also, uh, we could split them to three bridges, four bridges, or two bridges. We have the option to modify the line. Let's go here and we could draw this line in the position we wanted to keep it. If we don't have this spline defined correctly by the software, yeah. uh, we have the step of the sculpt of the anatomy, which means we have the sculpt toolkit to make influence on the shape of the uh, arch of, of our teeth here and what i'd recommend to do is to use wax knife and take away some spots like this uh, on the facial or buckle surface of the denture to make it more aesthetical and for example in some areas like midline i could reduce and then the papilla uh, to make it deeper a bit uh, to create more aesthetical and let's go to the next uh, sub step which is sculpt over the denture base and we will fill in some areas on the facial surface Add a bit pink uh, base in the uh, interproximal spaces to do to uh, to increase the uh, retention is to add a bit material on the lingual or palatal surface. We could do it by wax knife, add in material, or we could use morphine tool and just put up this morphine tool. Which way is more convenient for you? You could use it uh, and make the, yeah, to make the uh, connection, the coupling a connection between base and T's and to do so we need to be on the coupling mechanism step and we have some settings here uh, like angulation and uh, depth of the uh, um, in base area of the T's uh, to apply our settings we need to hit preview also we have uh, insertion directions uh, uh, option here to change insertion direction of our T's to be glued into the base. And we could do it using the arrows here. Or we could use the set from view tool. Or we could just use the joystick and um, change direction by this joystick or base and T's, and if we wanna to mill them out, we need to uh, apply some drill radius kind of strategy uh, settings here uh, to uh, make it uh, millable uh, for, for our uh, milling unit, as well as we have the uh, pocket setting glue space, which is default 1.1 millimeter. Usually it's enough, but again, it depends on the uh, density of, uh, of your glue. And it could be uh, more or less according to that material. Uh, just to show you how it looks like, we could 
click preview and wait a bit while software will create the pockets inside of the base. Where I will create the connection according to the printing strategy, not million strategy. Yeah, and now we could take away these to see how the pocket is. Uh, yeah, and in some areas, like on the uh, very deep areas, we have our drill radius applied because of the million strategy chosen here. Yeah, and we could add the T's and do the cross section on the central, for example. And I wanted to extend it to show you. This is the glue space created by our software and depth of this uh, space is 0.1 millimeter, 100 microns. Yeah. If we wanted to change it, we have this option to increase it or decrease it according to the materials of the glue you wanted to use. And we have this drill radius applied also to uh, make it nailable. Yeah. Okay. And after that, we are ready to hit next and save our design as an STL file. We will have two of them in this case and check the box lift indications and this is your final construction.